So friends, we are discussing about Laravel 9 new features and updates. I already published some videos on that. So in this video, we are going to discuss about a quick topic that is how to render a plate string that is new things in Laravel 9. So simply, uh, if you just want to use directly to render a blade string, then you can use in Laravel 9. Sometimes you may need to transform from a row blade template string into a valid HTML. So you don't need to create a proper HTML or blade template for this. So simply for inline, you can directly render with the blade templating. Yeah, there is a new component. So if you just go here, you can see in the Illuminate support passage there is a blade class and we can use this class and by default inside the web.php we can get access of these things. So simply this is the home page and I just going to write here. So simply how we can call this. So simply write return and just call a blade just like a class means a blade component and use the render method simply use the render and inside this you can write your own cat so i just uh, uh, closing this line and here simply you can pass any things uh, suppose i want to pass a variable like uh, data right and we can pass data variable and we can pass value with the data so then dev right and here simply just pass the data how we can pass the data so just create a array and simply pass the value so write hello right and if you just go to the browser and refresh this you will get hello dev right so if you want to swap this thing so if you just write uh, hi and simply write these things here you can write okay hi dev so if you just refresh this we are getting hi dev that means inside a value or inside a sentence or inside the strings you can pass any things just like a variable so you will need this data and you will have to provide this value and that will replace in your blade right in your render methods okay and simply if you just uh, want to write uh, some uh, conditions then you can write also so how you can write this simply here write um, suppose let's use if uh, true right so if true then hi this is dev or if not then simply write else condition also so simply write else and inside the else simply write this is not okay and finally close the if so write end if and now if you just uh, go to the browser again and refresh hi this is dev as this is a true condition so hi this is dev so if you write if one equal to two that means i want to get the false condition if one equal to equal to two then we'll get hi this is not dev that means it's false so simply you can write in this way also if you write false here you will get the false part otherwise you will get the true part that means inside here we can write the logical condition also so this is simple concept and a very small concept and useful concept also so you can use this in a level 9 it's introduced so hope you like this video and still if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section we'll create a level 9 tutorial from very beginning to the advanced so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day